So we can X out of customize now. And why don't we proceed to add the rest of our sidebar widgets. Let's go to our home page and compare it to the demo site. So right now on our sidebar, we have our newsletter form and we're gonna keep the recent posts and the search bar. And the next thing we need to add is the about me section. So to add the about me section, it's not that complicated at all. We just need a title and then we need the image here and then we need some text beneath it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to our customize window again. And one of the easiest, most convenient widgets in WordPress, let's go back to widgets, is just the custom text HTML widget. So let's hit sidebar, add a widget, and then we're gonna go down and grab the custom HTML, or you could grab instead of the text. So let's try text. And we can see this is so nice because it gives us visual, which is just like writing in Microsoft Word, and it gives us text where you can write some custom HTML or paste in some custom HTML that another website generates for you. So what we need to do is just create it just as we want, like the demo site is. So we're gonna say about me. All right, and then if you really wanted to be exact, you could grab like the images from this site by just right clicking and save image as, and we can make exactly this older demo site. But in our case, hopefully you have some images from your own adventures. So I'm gonna to try to pull up just that. And I'm gonna do that from Instagram. All right, so there is us right here, my profile. And I'm really bad at like updating it and posting relevant pictures, so it might be kind of hard. Because for some reason I only post goofy ones, I don't post actual good pictures, and I get yelled at about that all the time. But why not just like one where we have myself and Dear Traveler. That looks good. So Instagram doesn't really let you like take images from it, but what you can do is screenshot anything. So I'm gonna hit Command Shift 4 to get this little screenshot cropping device. And then we could just click wherever we want to start the image, hold and drag, and grab as much of the image as we want. Then let go and it will go right to our desktop when you hear that camera sound. So now we can go back to WordPress and click Add Media, Upload Files, Select Files, and that should be on our desktop. Desktop, Screenshot, we can click Space to preview it, that's the one, and hit Open. So just a little trick you can use whenever you're browsing the web and you wanna grab a photo super quick is to use that screenshot. And I think it's print screen on a PC. All right, beautiful, so we're just gonna click Insert in a Post. Then we're gonna write some text and a signature. All right. Insert in a post. Now we're just gonna need some text beneath it. So we can hit enter to get beneath the image. I'm just gonna write, hi there, we're dear vlogger and dear traveler. Welcome to our new blog. All right, and then if you wanna center it, you can highlight the text and click on Oh, we don't really have a centering option here because it's kind of limited. So what you can do is just go to text and I'll teach you how to write a little custom CSS right here. What you can do is write open alligator bracket P style equals text dash align semi, actually full colon, not semicolon, full colon, center, then semicolon, then close quote, then close alligator bracket, and close off the P at the end with that forward slash and the alligator brackets. And that will center your text. So that's how WordPress like writes out the code if you actually have the centering button. Um, I've just seen it on the text side of things so many times that I know how to write it. All right, let's go down and see what that looks like. So it's really coming along. Um, one cool trick you can do is you can go to the text tab and make this image rounded. All you need to do to do that, now that we're writing a little custom CSS, is put your cursor right before the width part and write style equals open quotation mark, border dash radius, and then give it some pixel amount like 50. And there we go. It should give it a little bit of rounding and it'll look a lot cooler if it's an exact uh, square, then your image will be able to become an exact circle. In this case, we have a rectangle, so the more we round it, the more it's just gonna turn into sort of like a little circle tangle. 
But anyway, it's super cool. That's how to do that. That's how to make any one of your images have rounded edges. All right, so the last thing we need in our little About section is a signature. Now, to create your own signature like this, it's actually pretty simple. You can go to a tool like pixlr.com, click on Pixlr X, and then just go ahead and create a new image with a background, which is white, and create. And then we're just going to use the paintbrush to go ahead and write out a little bit of cursive. Not cursive, but, you know, oh, too bad it's white. To click on the color and make it black. Black, there we go. And then, yeah, you can just try to write out, you know, whatever you think is going to be cool. That's not cool. Oh, gosh, this is tough. This is harder than I thought. Okay, well, hopefully you have a little bit better cursive skills than me. And if not, then you can just go ahead and draw it out on your phone using, like, your own finger. Once you've written out your text, go ahead and use that screenshot tool again. I'm going to hit Command Shift 4. Screenshot just the part we wrote on a nice white background. Now come back to WordPress and upload that image. So we're going to hit Enter, Add Media again, Upload File, Select Files, and open up our latest screenshot. All right, and insert into post, and we're done. So that looks like um, pretty, you know, childish, but yeah, it's good to be a kid every now and then. And you can center any image by clicking on top of it and hitting the center alignment button. All right, pretty cool. That's a nice little personal touch. Next up in our sidebar, we can add our subscribe and follow section. So we're going to make sure that we publish it with this other widget done. And now we can add a widget and go for the social icons. All right, so it's already called subscribe and follow, and it should already know that it's going to include some of our social channels. All right, and if you look at the demo site, it was really that easy, and you can go crazy if you want to include all these other ones like Blog Love and Google Plus. I don't think that exists anymore, but it was great when it did. And yeah, so you look like even more popular with more icons. And publish. Next in our sidebar, we're going to add the lifestyle and travel boxes. So let's close up the social icons and add a widget. And these are promo boxes. All right. So it looks like the promo boxes don't get a title. We're just going to give them a text, link, and background image. So we need a couple more images, and we're going to go to Pixabay to grab those. Let's click X, and let's grab one of our other categories here. Super cool. So I really like these images on Pixabay. They're just super soothing, and it's good to look at an image and just be able to relax every now and then. So we're going to go with the wolf, free download, download. All right, so wolf moon, wolf moon, save it. And then we're going to go back because I really like this sailboat image too. We're going to get that one, free download, download, and save it. All right, now come back to WordPress. And because it wants the background image URL, we have to actually find that URL for it. So we can open up our site in a new tab by just opening up any tab go into Bluehost Setup where we're building. And now we're just going to need to go to New Media, Select Files, and grab those two images we just downloaded. I'm going to hit Command to grab both of them at the same time, and open to do a bulk upload. All right, and then you want to get the image URL, right? So you can do that by clicking Edit on any image, and WordPress will automatically generate a file URL, aka an image URL. So we can just copy this whole URL that I've highlighted and come back to our customized window and paste it in. Awesome. Now let's see what sort of text the demo site used. So it's things like lifestyle, travels, perfect. So lifestyle. And the idea here would be that you make this link go to the lifestyle category of posts on your blog. That would be the promo link to use. We can also make that box a little bit taller if we want to see that wolf, which I do. And we've made our first promo box, so great job. We can repeat that one more time, or really as many times as you want. You could have like five promo boxes if you have all sorts of content, which I'm sure you will someday, by clicking Add a Widget. Promo box again. Now we're going to go to our other image and click Edit, and we're going to grab the file URL, copy, and back in our customized window, we're going to paste in that background image URL. 
and this would be a travel. I'm gonna make that height consistent of 160 and you are in business. So beautiful, how easy is that? All right, really cool. And publish. So next up on our sidebar is the find us on Facebook like box, which gives a lot of people trouble, but it's not gonna give you an ounce of trouble because you're gonna learn how to add Facebook to WordPress right here. So we can go to our customize and let's see just for fun if we add widget if there's a Facebook like box and there is. Cool. So let's click on that. And it should be all you need to do is just add your Facebook page URL, which in my case is just facebook.com slash dear blogger. Alright, and let's see if it gets it. And it does. Cool. So in other videos we've had to like go to the Facebook page URL. Um, page plugin is what it's called and copy the code from this page and cape and paste it into WordPress but now it doesn't have to be that difficult at all because we just use the alder theme and the tools it gives us all right that's where the Facebook stuff came from and in our case you're good to go and now people can like your blog in line with your content they don't have to leave your blog which is really important all right publish and lastly, on our sidebar, we have the Instagram widget because we already have our latest post. Um, so let's add Instagram to our sidebar. Let's go back to customize and add another widget, which you're getting really good at here. And we're going to grab the never find Instagram. Where is Instagram? You know what it is? It's going to be we have to use the code again. So let's go back and open up the um, Instagram header custom HTML and let's just copy this part again and let's put it in our sidebar so sidebar add widget and then we're gonna use of course the custom HTML widget sorry Greg's bad at finding widgets and paste that in our sidebar let's see how that looks alright so I don't really like how it's wide across the screen I'd much rather have it be a nice grid box like it is in the demo um, and to change that, we can actually just edit the short code. And I'll show you how to edit some more code. We already know how to write our own little custom CSS and HTML, but this will help us edit a WordPress short code. So let's try to put in a three there. Awesome. And then we're going to add a little padding. Let's try a five. So padding is white space in between images. Awesome. And now it's starting to look really cool, a lot like the demo. So I think we're good, we just have to make it follow at Instagram. You can even add, you know, follow at your handle. Obviously that's what people do, like follow me, they put it on YouTube, everywhere on the TV. And um, yeah, that is your own little Instagram on your blog. And publish, great job. Alright guys, I believe our sidebar is done. Let's close this. We just need to add the images to our recent posts. We're going to open that. And okay, I'm not sure how to add images right now, but that's not a big deal because having just a list of posts is pretty standard format. If you do figure out how to add the images there, let me know. That's like our second task. The first one was to move the Instagram header and the navigation menu and the second one I'm going to give you is to try to find how to add images to our recent posts. That would be cool now that I think of it. Alright, in any case, we can just reorder those sidebar widgets to our heart's content. Um, like maybe we will make the search bar the first one and make the recent posts further down. Bring the Facebook one up so people can like us. And uh, yeah, beautiful. And publish. And our sidebar is done. Great job.